who doesn't like birthday cake? And what I'm going to show you today is that there are good ways and there are bad ways of cutting a cake. And the classic way, the bad way, is like this, which would be normal. You put the knife in the center, one bit of a slice, another bit of a slice. <laughs> That's like the classic. It is the classic, isn't it? It's, 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 it's almost like a, a pie chart. You know one thing about the word pie chart? In France, they call them camembert, which is like a cheese. So it's actually like a cheese chart in France. Interesting cultural differences right. in maths speak. So this is what you would do. You take this, you would put this over here, you eat it, and then you leave this in the fridge overnight. And the reason why this is a really bad way of cutting a cake is that these bits here are just going to get dry. And so when you come the following day to have your cake, you know, you do another one, you, you know, another slice like this, this side here, mm, lovely and soft, this will be dry and horrible. You're not maximizing the amount of gastronomic pleasure that you can make from this cake. There is a better way, a way that is more than 100 years old and was discovered or invented by one of Britain's most famous and brilliant mathematical scientists. This is a copy of Nature, the um, famous science magazine from December the 20th, 1906. And in the letters to the editor here, it says the headline, cutting a round cake on scientific principles. The ordinary method of cutting out a wedge, he writes, is very faulty. What he suggests is, and he gives an illustration for it, the proper way, the scientific way, the mathematically perfect way of cutting a round cake, and it is as follows. So, we have another cake. The first slice will be like this. It's breaking all the rules of a cake etiquette. Perfect. Okay, so this is the first one, and then I need to find a way of taking it out. Okay, we can stick that there, and that has got to be the prime, that's the, the prime steak of that cake, isn't it? It's the, it's the T-bone cut. Here what we need to do, we need to close the cake together, like this, and that's going to come apart. So look what I've got here. I have got some rubber bands to make sure that stays together. The following day, all the flesh, the sponge, is going to be nice and soft. So how do we do the second slice? In the second slice, I guess it's not your birthday anymore, so you're not going to have one that's slight, quite as big. It'd be interesting to work out the actual proportions. This is, and you get a lovely breaking of the elastic bands too, which is exciting. This is slice two, or it actually is slice two, which has two slices, two parts. Good. So we put this back together and we can keep on going. Obviously, I'm going to want to use the elastic band to put the cake. Yeah, that is perfect. That is going to stay so fresh for day three. Day three. How should we do day three again? Let's um, turn it around. I think this is going to be the slice for day three. Again, the satisfying snap of the elastic bands. And I don't know if you, you've thought about it before, but these triangular slices are really annoying anyway because it's not very satisfying. Having a nice uniform slice like that is a lot better. So here we go again. This is at the end of day three, there's four. And this is going to be perfect. And gradually we are slicing it. Keep on going. I think for the um, mathematical loners who don't want to share their cakes, this is, it, it could be useful. For a bit more of this interview, including more about the guy that came up with this cake cutting method, have a look at the extra footage over on number file two. And if you'd just like to hear more great stories from Alex, he's got a new book out just recently, Alex Through the Looking Glass, How Life Reflects Numbers and Numbers Reflect Life. 
It's really good. It's also just out in the US, but it has a different name in the US. It's called The Grapes of Math. I'll put links to it in the video description.